These green check marks indicate that that particular component is ready for my inspection monitors. So whenever you are smogging your vehicle, you have to go down to a smog station and they plug in to your OBD2 port and they check the status of these monitors. Well, depending on where you live, this can get really confusing as you don't know what applies to you. So in this video today, I'm gonna to go ahead and show you how to look this up for your particular state. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to Random Fix. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and focus on inspection monitors and how to look up this data for your particular state and maybe even your particular vehicle, depending on the year. So a lot of times these inspection monitors aren't a problem until they are. So one day you might actually end up with a dead battery and you go ahead and replace that battery and you'll notice that your inspection monitors may not be getting ready. Well, as a vehicle ages, this is gonna get only harder and harder to set these monitors. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to look this up for your state. And if you have an issue with a particular monitor, check the video description box down below for links to any monitor that's listed here, including EVAP, catalytic converters. It's called the Smog Tips Playlist. And let me go ahead and jump behind the computer and I'll show you how to look up this data and how to interpret it. And I wanna show you guys how easy it is to look up your own state's requirements so you don't have to go down to the smog station and ask the technician, because a lot of times they just give you guys confusing information and they tell you just to drive around as if gas was free. I don't want you guys to do that. So I'm gonna give you guys the best information I have that I used when I was a car dealer to go ahead and get these vehicles ready for drive cycles and get them to pass an emissions test. And I have a lot of resources online so if you guys go to Random Fix, go to Playlist, I have drive cycle videos. There's a total of 49 right now. So I have made a drive cycle video for each make, including Honda, Toyota, Ford, GM. I have you guys covered. And if you're dealing with a particular component that's not ready, such as the EVAP or the Catalyst, I have videos just on those particular monitors that will help you get your monitors ready without having to spend a lot of money on repairs. So check those out and let's go ahead and jump into the very first state, which is everybody's favorite and my old home, which is going to be California. So California is going to be the leader in the strictest emission requirements. And let me show you guys what their requirements currently are. From 1996 to 1999, you could have one monitor incomplete. It could be any monitor, including the EVAP or even the catalyst. Vehicles 2000 and newer, you can only have the EVAP monitor incomplete. And here's the information for the diesel vehicles. I'll leave you guys links to this in the video description box down below. And we are gonna go ahead and cover California, Texas, Florida, Pennsylvania, and also Oregon. The next state that we're gonna cover is gonna be my new home, which is gonna be in Texas. And one thing I didn't mention earlier is whether you live in California or you live in Texas, just know that there are certain counties that are gonna be exempt. So I happened to live in Calaveras County when I was in California, and that was exempt from smog. So I had a lot of cool vehicles that I played around with, and I got lucky again here in Texas. I live in a county that does not have smog, and I'm really looking forward to souping up some car. So if you guys have any good recommendations, please let me know down below. So here are the requirements for Texas. For Texas 1996 to 2000, you can have two monitors that are incomplete. And if you have a 2001 and newer, you can only have one monitor that is incomplete. We are gonna skip Florida as Florida does not have any emissions requirements. And I chose this state because of the population density. So California and Texas and Florida happen to rank in the top five. And now we are on to New York. You can have two monitors that are incomplete and 2001 and newer, you could only have one monitor incomplete. They're not like California where they tell you it can only be the EVAP. So that is kind of nice, but I think things are only going to tighten up in the future. And I wanted to mention if you're dealing with a check engine light, a permanent diagnostic code or something that is a little tricky and you just don't know where to begin off with and you're tired of paying the shop or the dealership some serious money, for them to help you out, please comment down below. I will point you guys in the right direction. And 
let's go move on to Pennsylvania and this is going to be the information for Pennsylvania and Pennsylvania just gives you this weird sheet here and similar to most of the other states 1996 to the year 2000 you could have two monitors incomplete and 2001 and newer one monitor incomplete and I'm actually going to finish off this video with Oregon I have no idea why but Oregon decided to jump on this smog bandwagon a few years ago and I was selling cards to people in Oregon and I started looking up the requirements and they were kind of strict at the time. They even required the EVAP to be ready. So right now they have a similar stand. So you could have one incomplete monitor if your vehicle is newer, but it cannot be the EVAP or the catalyst. You guys can go ahead and judge these states on the requirement criteria for yourself. I just wanted to give you guys the information and show you guys how to look this up. And to look it up, it's very easy. All you gotta do is go into Google, type in your state, and type in inspection monitor requirements. And it's either gonna be the first, second, or third result. And I found this to be true for all the states except for Illinois. Illinois made it really confusing, and I actually dropped it from the video. And if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. I will leave you guys those links for those states in the video description box down below as well. And I'll leave you guys a link to this particular OBD2 reader that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video because it's my favorite for checking the inspection monitor as I'm driving because it will automatically refresh as you're driving. And I'll leave you guys a link to the review video so you guys can see it for yourself. It's only $29. Sometimes you can find it on sale for $25 or even lower. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video on how to look up your state's requirements. And I know there's probably a million questions I did not answer in this video. And I did that on purpose because I cannot go ahead and break all this into one video. I'm going to leave you guys all those links, as I mentioned many times in the video, in the video description box down below. Ask me a question and I will point you guys in the right direction. One thing I did not mention in this video is that you have to still pass a visual test. So just because your inspection monitors are ready doesn't mean you're going to pass the visual test. So I have plenty of drive cycle videos where I give you a generic overview of what they may look for. And you guys will find those in the video box down below as well. I'm trying to give you guys this in bite-sized pieces. So you guys will go ahead and get the most out of it instead of trying to watch one, two or three hour long video as that probably isn't enough time. Again, I appreciate you guys watching. Make it a great day and thank you again.